tonight. Uh, before we start, I'm going to ask uh, members of the board to introduce themselves, starting with our zoning administrator. Tom Badowski. John Freebert. Uh, and I'm Chair Bob Warnick. Carla Nuisel. Shane Mispel. Thank you. Um, so uh, uh, we have on, we have an application by for a boundary line adjustment by Phil Tadil and, um, and Michael Volpe. Vopal. Vopal. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, do you want to sign? Oh, swear. Yeah. I was going to ask: uh, Is there anybody here that uh, wants to be a party of interest to this application, other than the applicants? Uh, hearing none, uh, we'll proceed then by swearing in the witnesses. I intend to give witness before this board tonight. You swear to tell the truth, and nothing but the truth, and as before this board tonight, I'm a penalty of perjury. I do. I, I do. do. So, um, it's a boundary line adjustment. Um, you have your application. Would you explain your application for us, please? Um, sure. Did, I, did everybody? Oh, you got cops on that. Okay. Yeah. And, and before you speak, because this is going to be, the minutes are going to be recorded by somebody that's not here present tonight. Okay. So, if you okay. introduce yourself when you speak, it would be helpful. Questions at your back is to the uh, camera. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, keep it um, Mike Bopel. Um, we're the, the, there's an oddball piece of Phil's property um, that is uh, separated really from his property, really more of my property. Um, uh, adjacent to my property um, and uh, we're just looking to move it from his his to mine um, I guess that's about all there is uh, it's about what, two and three th acres yeah two and three quarters acres I believe and uh, I guess the old Lewis farm when it was divided up they chopped it up in a way it, you look at it now and it almost doesn't make sense in some ways the way these parcels were dangling and I think uh, years ago uh, Bob and Linda Green got a piece of that and uh, you know this was a dangling piece above the uh, Squire Drysdale which is I think was the old camp lookout that was there years ago and then there's another piece across the road from me that is not on this map that is also another parcel that I own. Oh, is that over here where your garden is? Yeah. Yeah. It's on the pond side. Mike, you off offered three colored coded uh, maps for part of your application. You want to maybe go th through the sequencing what what each one means, represents? Sure. sure. Um, this is the the section in question of two and three quarters acres. Um, this shaded in red is what um, Phil and Ellen currently own uh, is their lot and my lot's the blue and then after the proposed m movement um, a boundary adjustment it would be mine would be the blue and Phil's is the is the red so it's uh, comments by the zoning minister the at the end of the day it, uh, they the both lots the the, the two um, revised lots will meet zoning regulations for Highland Conservation, which is five acre minimum lot size. So, um, so that, that it meets that. Um, questions by a member of the board? Um, yeah, I would assume it doesn't change setbacks either. Um, so it looks like <laughs> what's done is, would have no, no real impact. I, I can't imagine. There's no structures on the current green piece. Right here. Exactly. Yeah. The um, Squires Drysdale property, the structure is located where? Uh, the, their house is pretty much center on the on their piece right here. Okay. But the boundary line is what the boundary line was before. Oh, it's, yeah. You know, none of that changes. Themselves. None of that changes. Yeah. So, and, uh, uh, so you're not creating a new lot. 
no having no in negative impact on the um, uh, setbacks. No. Is this all one D? Your land? It is one D. It's interesting. Cause it's, is, it, is, it, is it actually contiguous or is it a separate? You know, when I came to Tom last year mm -hmm. and asked Tom about this, uh, it, it was odd because in the, in the map I've had, and I know where this is from, it's just, it's, it's odd the way they, they, they laid it out when I first bought the property. This is, yeah, and this is the Squires, and yeah. this is the lot we're questioning yeah. now, and this is awesome, but this is a separate, this piece also is in the deed. Oh. Huh. So it's this piece, this piece, and that piece. And as I said, the Lewis farm originally, I think, had this piece, and I, I just don't know where else it went yeah. way back. What I can attest to is that on, on Mike's current property boundary adjustment map, these two, shaded in red, share the same parcel number. It's the same parcel number. That leads oh. me to believe that it's a parcel. Yeah. Even though they don't seem to be directly connected. I, yeah. Maybe corner. at a point. Probably point. Oh, on the corner. Yeah, yeah. On the point. There's a point. Is this the same parcel also? I mean, it's not effective affecting this at all, but is that the same parcel also? It's across the street from you? I think that's a separate parcel. Oh, okay. 26. Yeah. yeah. 26. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Okay, just curious. Mm hmm um, So uh, this boundary adjustment will not result in the creation of any non-conforming lot or non-conforming use. Is that correct? Correct. That's correct. Um, I'm, I'm sort of reading our definition of boundary line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure, we don't violate it. And um, similarly, we have the same thing. It's, see, it's not covered in either, either ordinance. It's covered by exception. In the definitions, it says a boundary line adjustment is not a subdivision. It's not you know, because right. it is as long as it meets certain criteria. Any other questions on the members of the board? No. They seem pretty straightforward to me. Um, the thing we don't have here is we don't have a survey. Mm -hmm. We're working with property maps mm -hmm. from previous subdivision. Um, uh, a condition of an approval would be we would require that a register this be surveyed by a registered land surveyor. All right. Yeah, I'm on uh, on the agenda for Chase and Chase. Chase and so, Chase. Yeah. And that it be recorded within 180 days, and that the deed transferring the property also be recorded within 180 days. That's our customary mm -hmm. mm -hmm. requirement. Bob, I also uh, talked to Phil and I'm Mike. You weren't present at that. That they may want to con they should contact agency natural resources for wastewater just to make sure that there's no impact on the, their existing wastewater permits. Right, we, 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 uh, that's right. Another condition of this permit will be you have to have wastewater and water supply approval from the uh, uh, agency natural resources. Uh, what you would probably do is get a deferral permit. Um, and I don't know whether they'll require you to put in a replacement field or not on your property. Uh, not put it in, but design one, have one designed. Mm. Uh, are you familiar with that? No. Yeah. To, to subdivide, they may they may treat you as a, because you really are trying to separate a lot over there by yourself, but they may, uh, they may say that uh, 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 you're really not subdividing your property, you, you know, this is not affecting you. So, we don't know what they do, but we'll, we'll, need, we'll, a, we'll need that permit uh, from them uh, as a condition of this permit. Okay. As I say, if it were me, I would be filing for deferment because you're not proposing to develop that lot. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the portion that's being traded off here is not affected really, right. except for you need deferment for it. Right. The question is whether or not they'll require you to have design for the replacement field if you don't have one. Okay. Your field's nowhere near the that lot, is it? No. No. No, that's all upstream. That's what, that's a couple hundred feet above me. Well, hundred feet. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that yep. that'll be a that that would be two conditions you would basically add over your program. Okay. Okay. All right. Anybody have anything? Did I miss anything? No. 
<laughs> so if if the board gives us approval, then it's pending those two conditions and right. 180 days, and then That's right. if it's satisfied, then it just there's no other hearing. It just in other words, passes over Tom's he desk. Can't, he can't issue the permit until right. you demonstrate to him that you've met the conditions. Okay. We'll have our findings of facts, mm -hmm. which we'll issue um, uh, at some time in the future here after minutes are recorded, the minutes are approved, and then there will be findings of facts. But we do we do issue uh, conditional permits mm -hmm. that that okay. it's, you'll get a permit from us so that it becomes fully valid when the conditions are met. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. And it's 180 days to get all the correct work done. Is that going to be a problem? Already? Not at all. I mean, it's going to move so. faster than that. Yeah. 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 I would hope so. Oh yeah. You never know. You don't. But we'll you make the phone sure. call. And, yeah. Definitely. The first, which is called Carl. Mm -hmm. Carl I will, yeah. yeah. I don't well, know what the... Yeah. Um, okay, anybody have any additional questions? I move to close the hearing. Second. Okay, the hearing. Okay, once we're made, second to close the hearing on this application. Uh, is there any discussion on that motion? Hearing none, all those in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi there. How are you? Um, so the next item on our agenda today is um, Mr. Dayton, uh, Big Gear Coffee Roasters LLC. Yes. Application for initial use associated with coffee roasting enterprise. Yes. And um, I forget, did you raise your right hand when I swore everybody in? I did not. I, I didn't know if I was supposed yeah, to do you, it. I'll yeah, be happy to do I it. I used to tell you to do a group oh, thing, but I'm sorry. Time, I used to tell the group. Nothing but the group for this board tonight and the pendants of perjury. I, I, I do, I will. Would you introduce yourself, please? Uh, Paul Dayton. Um, I live in East Montpelier and I am starting a new coffee roasting business, very small, just me. Um, left the public schools after 10 years, looking for something mm. completely different. And I'm an avid coffee drinker and know a few people, <laughs> as many people are. And uh, it's, it's a, a nice little niche business that's catching on in Vermont. Um, there's a number of small coffee roasters around that um, like 802 Coffee in town, Bohemian Bakery in town. He goes out in East Callis, uh, Carrier Coffee in Northfield. Um, and there's a couple in Waitsfield. There's a few in Burlington. Um, and I'm I'm not looking to be the next Green Mountain Coffee Roasters. I'm just looking to, to do a, a cool artisan uh, little roastery myself. Um, and. I have put a deposit on this, this space with uh, Jason Merrill um, to have that as my roastery. I would have one roaster there, a Diedrich IR5, which can roast about 10 pounds at a time. And I have a small sample roaster that I've been roasting with at home that roasts just a half a pound at a time. So a typical big roaster that you, I mean, they have roasters that will roast a thousand pounds at a time, you know. and. Um, so uh, my, it's not going to be a cafe at all, just a roastery. Um, I did write in my application that uh, I would like to be able to have people drop by and buy a bag of beans, but I'm not going to have any signage out front. Um, it would be they'd have to contact me through my website or phone, like, are you around? Can I come buy a bag of beans? But it's not going to be a retail storefront, not set up that way, just a roastery. Um, Delivery-wise, I think I would, uh, I can't foresee more than one, maybe two deliveries a week of green coffee beans. Um, I don't know because I haven't done this before, but you buy your beans somewhat in bulk, and um, but you got to keep your, your inventory fresh. Um, I'm just aiming to sell 100 pounds of coffee uh, a week and get to that in my first six months. and hopefully get to 200 pounds a week um, at the end of the year to be sustainable for a small roaster. Just, just made it up to hold. 
Yeah. Can I just ask a question? Is this just because the use is not correct? And what do we consider the use to be? Uh, uh, what do we call it? light? Light manufactured. Light, light manufactured. I'm just trying to figure out why we're hearing what, what, yeah. what we're doing. Why it's yeah. traditional? Why? Yeah. So, because it's isn't that an industrial? You know, it's zone it's commercial. Okay. It's not light. Industrial. And so, and it, 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 it's light manufacturing. Light, light manufacturing is a uh, traditional use. Okay. Subject to approval of the ERB. Yeah. And so, I'm back there right now. I'd there's a, there's a, a metal forge furniture maker, a cabinet maker, um, back in the same complex. Uh, that's why it's conditional use. But you'll be in the new building that he's putting. The new. No. Nope. You're in the old building. You're in the existing I thought he was building, aren't you? In the new no, building. No, it's in the new one. Oh, okay. I thought it's in the new one. No, my, my no. Bad. Ben and the, I don't know the name of the cabinet maker. Ben's taking one of the new ones right next to him, then I'm the next one. Okay. I think the propane people who are in one of them are you taking one of them. Look at a site plan and tell us where you're going to be. I, I, I totally was confused. From a site plan perspective, what are you doing? Um, I don't know if I will be able to decipher. This is all Jason's stuff. So, um, I'm just going to cover that mic. Oops, sorry. Is it, it must be this, this one, right? Okay, it's right here. The You're actually welcome to come over here in this chair. Okay, we'll do uh, That way okay. we don't have the microphone. Yeah. So, it's... Right in here. This is oh, the new building. This one in the middle. It's behind the U-Haul space. There's some self storage right here. It's not Units over there on that building. I that's don't think it was that's new. That's existing. That, that's existing. Well, it well it is existing. Oh. Well, where you're going? He's built it. Existing. I mean, he's it's that's been. Oh, so you're not in this one. No. He just oh. see. He just recently obtained permission to build two new buildings. There's right. two buildings to the most southerly part of the property on that drawing. Uh, would you point that out to him, please? Here. So With, yeah. yeah. Okay. Those two, those two buildings you could not be moving into because they're conditioned upon water and wastewater. Oh, okay. Which you will not have for probably two more years. Mm -hmm. So you have to be in the, you, you must be in more right. existing structures. In, in that. That's the one. Okay. And so you're not yeah. in the big one. You're in the small one behind. Yes. I see. Yep. Okay. Now I understand. Yep. yep. So I was, I, I thought I was going into an existing one. Yep. Okay. Well, that, right. that was not clear because a lot of your answers are dependent upon whether or not this is a new building or whether it's an old building. Mm -hmm. um, so, okay. Okay. So, so this is really a change of use. That's a, correct. That's a, really a change of use. We have an existing building. Yep. What was in that part of the building before? You know. Well, it hasn't been it hasn't been anything. It's existing, but I'm going to be the first tenant. Oh really? I think we're previous tenants. Okay. He's moving slow. That's why he's finishing. <laughs> like finishing everything. So, we can trust that the price is right. Um, <laughs> I, I think so. It's new. It's clean. Um, so um, okay. So uh, the um, uh, what's your other general question? Now that I figure out where you're going to be. Yeah. Number one is existing building. Uh, uh, number two that it's, it's been there for a while. Yeah, I saw that. I thought it was going to be Yeah, you said new construction on your application. Oh. Okay. New free. Well, I. That's okay. We get it. I, we understand. That. Okay. Yeah. Apologies. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, so, um, you responded to the criteria. We appreciate that. Yes. But I have a number of questions with sure. regard to your responses. Uh, before we do that, Tom, did you have anything to do with add? I, I do. Um, this um, Paul's a co applicant with the owner, Jason Merrill. Jason sent me a, a note today saying that uh, Paul can speak on his behalf on anything pertaining to this matter. Because Paul is the owner, he actually is the applicant. Co-applicants, I call them well, co-applicants. Yeah, they both yeah. get a permit. They're both, names are both on both. They're both names, yeah, okay. That's but the reality is it has to be the property owner. Yes. Permit, permit rides goes with the property owner. Um, so unless you're going to have a financial interest in the building other than rent. No. Um, no. So, uh, so this is an existing building, um, and you're moving into a portion that's currently yeah. vacant. Yeah. Um, you indicate that no new traffic is envisioned. Um, why, why do you say that? Um, you will have yeah. delivery trucks. Not many. Yeah, but no, no more than. Well, obviously, if a tr one truck comes for me, that. Yeah, that's a that's a new bit of traffic, but it's not it's 
in this area that has self storage, it has a furniture maker, a cabinet maker. There's, it's, it. I don't think it's going to change any kind of flow or anything. If the UPS truck comes you, in there you, once you, or twice a week. Any employees besides yourself? Um, maybe one in the future, but I, I don't in the immediate future, even in this first year. I, I and and I really don't see ever having more than one employee. How many square feet are you renting? It's uh, 17 by 32. 544. Thank you. Okay. Um, the, um, and will the business have any, own any vehicles? Will, will the business own any vehicles? No. Um, so not, not right now. No, I, no, I plan to use so my private mean, car to get to work. And, well, and said you'll be making deliveries. I, I will be making deliveries in my private car. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. It's the employer, it's the delivery person. Yeah. It's also the employee. Yeah. Something's I'm everything. Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> what self employed means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, you already clarified the number of trips you think you'll be getting deliveries um, once a week. That I would get yeah. deliveries. I, yeah, I imagine once a week. Yeah. You'll be making deliveries. More the than me, that. I I hope to just um, make a trip to either UPS or the post office once a week, hmm. maybe twice a week. So not actually doing the deliveries, just allowing UPS or whoever. To right. Well, them. I would, um, I I will be shipping coffee. So and and. Freshness is, is the key. So if, if I'm roasting on Wednesday, shipping Thursday, I might make deliveries to my some accounts, uh, restaurants, uh, stores. So do you envision online retail more than local retailing of the product? I don't know at this no, point. No, no. Uh, beg, borrow, and steal you know, no. as far as the way to sell it. What, um, what would you hope for in terms of the number of people stopping by? And I, I just, I, I'm not going to push that part of it. I don't. Uh, it requires uh, you to be there and doing something else. Right, I, other than roasting. exactly. And, and roasting, you know, if I'm the only one there, I have to be wed to my machine pretty much. Really? I can't, yeah, I can do it between roasts, but a, it, a roast takes about 15 minutes. Um, and you really can't walk away from the machine during that 15 minutes. But that's not long for someone to wait if they were there. But uh, again, I'm not, I'm, I'm not pushing for that uh, to be a major part of my business. I would. And you registered that trade name? Yes, I have. Yeah. The so, state state's office. Yeah, I've done that. I've talked to the state, the health department, about what I have to do to be up to code for a food processor. Um, now, what do you have for special venue requirements? Um, the roaster needs an eight-inch uh, double-lined uh, exhaust, uh, much like a, a commercial kitchen application, but it doesn't require one of those big hood events. It's going to go right through the. Jason wants me to go straight through the ceiling. He'd rather have that. Gillespie Fuels is going to do my propane. The, the roaster's propane um, heats with propane, and they they will. I talked to them a couple times, including today, and they're, they're going to vent it. They're going to order all the proper material. They have the installation guide, and they're, they're comfortable with it. Just Before I go through the invisible criteria, any other questions in general? Well, I guess one question. You mentioned there was no signage. Um, it seems to me that you want to have something, at least for delivery. I'll have something on my, on, my, on my entry door. I'll have no, I'm going to have no street. People, so, for example, how will UPS find you when they have a new driver? Uh, <laughs> I'm just the address. The, the address on the building, the I hope. And if, yeah, and if, to go to the right side, I'm and just if, worried. If I have not looked to see if the address that Jason has given me is actually out there oh. somewhere. <laughs> if, if it is enough, we'll put an address on the building. Yeah. Okay. If you do want to put a sign on the building, I would imagine you'd want to. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I, I envision just putting it on the window on my entry door. Just as simple. You'll need a permit from zoning administrator for the sign. Yeah. Okay. Um, Do we permit lettering? If you put letter, put letters on the door. It's on a window. On the window. I'm just asking. <laughs> hmm. 
It has to be a certain size. Uh, I okay. I don't know off the top of my head. Yeah, just yeah. just trying to find whatever you said. Well, yeah. well, good. Um, okay, uh, so uh, going through the English criteria, uh, I do have one other burning question. Mm -hmm. Burning? Burning. Yeah. That's <laughs> not good for coffee roasting. <laughs> well, no, you don't want to burn it unless you like really dark roast. Uh, what are you intending to roast? What types of yeah. roast? Yeah. Well, I'm going to have a. I'm just making notes. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have your typical light, medium, and dark. I'm going to source my beans mostly from what they call single origin uh, farms. So, developing a relationship with a particular farm so I know that I'm supporting a particular farm and the way they grow, grow it. There's, there's a lot of middle people out there who sell the beans. Um, and I haven't inked a relationship with one of them yet. I'm shopping. Um, uh, there's a, I, I was at Rumney School the last four years, one of the Rumney parents. He's a manager of a, a business called Cooperative Coffees. Um, and he, he has about 25 cafes and roasters that he, he's the, the middleman buys beans and he's, he's all about was Fair trade. Really relevant to the, yeah, the, I you know, so I can go. Up, but I'm gonna I'm gonna roast delicious coffee. <laughs> well, I've been practicing with a real so nice watermelon bean. As long as you're asking, nice. say that silently loud and clear of the camera. Yeah. 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 As, as long as you're delicious. asking those kind of questions, though, I have to ask, what yeah. does big gear refer to? Um, well, to kind of it will be like getting gear, but it oh. my roast names are going. I'm a I'm an avid mountain biker. Okay. So my roast names will have ah. some mountain biking connotations, oh, cool. yeah, and cool. with my online marketing, I'm going to go after the mountain bike community. Um, <laughs> like one of my roasts is going to be called Uphill Grind, one will be Downhill Flow, uh, stuff, stuff like that. Okay. Nice. Uh, it's, you know, there's single track mountain biking where you're just room for one bike. Um, that could be my, my, my monthly single origin special, something like that. That'd be cool. That sounds good. Okay, so uh, safety of um, vehicle and pedestrian circulation on site, any adverse impacts on the increases for work, network? And you really told us you're really not anticipating to generate much traffic. No, I'm not. Um, and no, probably no more. I don't know who the previous tenant that building was. It was. So again, it again, it's. I believe it was. I, I got it. They were. I, yeah. I know it was. Yeah. It, um, uh, I've got a note from. Is that auto repair or something? Like that? Um, I've got a note from the, the engineer um, Don Marsh, saying that um, there was more traffic with the, the facility that left there than was will um, be with this one. Yeah. I think it was an auto. Something with auto. Yeah. That's, that's, what I'm, uh, that's, yeah. that's what I'm thinking, and that was mm -hmm. right. certain. Um, so um, you're not anticipating any significant additional traffic. No. Um, the um, uh, adequacy of circulation parking and loading facilities, and where you're going to be on the site, you're really going to come in directly to the people that park in front of your building. Yeah. And, and there I are existing parking spaces there now. There's, there's room for two cars, and, and, and I... I'm pretty certain I can park my vehicle elsewhere if I need to leave sp space for two. Oh, okay. You're, you you got 500 square feet? That building shows 5,000 square feet. Are you right you? on the end here with this little unit marked? No. Nope. No. I mean, the whole building is. In, he's not leasing the whole building. In this one. Oh. You're in that, but yeah. you're only getting a small portion. Yes, a small portion. Okay. There's, there's four four big garage doors there. Um, okay. Um, one of them. Okay. Uh, okay, and deliveries, UPS type deliveries. Yeah. And plenty of room um, for a UPS truck to navigate in there. So, existing parking should be adequate. Uh, the. Um, Loading will be primary to the front door. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. There and, and again, I have a big garage door. It's and I'm assuming that the property is going to be maintained by the owner. Yes. Yep. So, in terms of power. And yep. All yep. That. I have that uh, right here if you need to see that. Okay. 
Just verifying your, your, your answers here. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't know if you had I, plans for like two or three employees, and at that yeah. point, two parts are just kind of separate on me. You've indicated bites of the pedestrian access, which are next criteria, and you're not seeing any prominent. Uh, no, again, because I'm not going to have any any kind of signage on on Route 12, so I'm not trying to draw people in at all. Okay. There is some bicycle traffic through there. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, landscaping, you're not proposing any additional landscaping. Nope. Nope. And then on the hours of operation, you're indicated 7:30 to 5:30. Yep. I definitely want to stay with. Typical business hours. This is an existing structure, so it does not really affect setbacks. It's pre existing. Okay. Um, adequacy of external, external lighting. Do you anticipate adding lighting? Um, Jason has put lighting at each unit, yeah. and I, I, I believe it's adequate. It's so you're not adding lighting? No, I'm not. No. Because your, your text makes it sound like lighting will illuminate the entrance to the parking area. Like New lighting, but it's really you're, you're relying on. Existing I'm relying lighting. what's well, on what's there. It should be just fine. Um, if I'm moving faster, anybody just holler. <laughs> um, uh, stormwater drains. There'll be no changes because you're not adding anything. You're not creating any new purpose area, and you've indicated that. Um, utilization of renewable energy resources. Uh, no impact. Missing some services. Did you run a flagpole at all? I ran it by uh, Chief Wolf. He had no issues with it. It's a state highway that just recently got an LOI, so I, I did not run it by them. Um, um, and I did, I did not hear from uh, Chief Wolf, though he didn't, he did not, uh, Chief Wolf didn't. Respond to when the new application was being sent. Okay, and since uh, this is conditional use, you would, uh, uh, respond to the additional use criteria. The additional use criteria: traffic on roads and highways minimal. Yeah. Um, past existing planned community, you would get no changes to these. Mm -hmm. um, this is much for the benefit of the. Right. Not here. Okay. Um, flood hazard review, review, you said sees only application, but I believe it's not in the flood hazard area, therefore it's not relevant. It is not in the flood hazard area. Thank you. And, um, uh, and you indicated before we begin, explain to the board, this is going to be light industrial, it's, it's um, light, light manufacturing, manufacturing. Yeah. Light manufacturing um, which is conditional use. Uh, how is that blended in with what else is going on there? I think it fits in with uh, the furniture maker and the cabinet maker who are back there. Is there a candlestick um, maker there? <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and we're hidden behind there. No one, I mean, you could drive by there a thousand times and not know we're back there. So well, we probably smell it. We might smell it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell me on that. And my and, on the road. And, my, and, my, and the and, and the fellows who rent back there, they're they're excited to have a roaster back there. Yeah. They're, they're all avid coffee drinkers as well. And bylaws in effect, as I said, this is a this is conditional use. Uh, as a conditional use criteria in our commercial zone. Um, so we have to have bylaws in effect. Do you have anything else you want to add to your application? No. Can move that we close this hearing as well. Second. Okay. Motion to make. Second. To close this hearing. Uh, is there any discussion on motion? All in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. Aye. This hearing is closed. We are new to this process. Uh, we will um, issue findings. We'll issue minutes, and they have to be approved first. Then we issue findings. So since we only meet every two weeks, it takes a little period of time, but uh, okay. once the findings there, they are they are they are what they say, yep. and they would entitle Tom be the right to the today and receive no from anybody from it. All right, great.
Thank you very much. Thank you, Paul. Thank, Thank you. Good night. You'll get a copy of those findings. Okay. Thanks. That copy sounds good. <laughs> you sure what? you all get some copies. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you uh, a carrier. I like, the beer, I like the beer better than Brody. Oh, uh, well, yeah, there's, there's that too. Depends on the time of day. You need your coffee. It is. It really is time of day. I saw a sign in Maine that said, Move over coffee. This is a job for alcohol. <laughs> 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 I should have gotten that. That's a great one. <laughs> <laughs> you know those still... block signs that they sell oh, with yeah. all the sayings on them? It was in Maine when I went to Old Orchard. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, the next item on our agenda is the approval of the minutes of our last <clears> meeting. <throat> um, I had a number of comments on those minutes. I don't know if anyone else does. Let me go find mine. It's all done now. Right? Yep. Pardon me? She's still looking to be recording. Yep. Oh, that's right, because it's for her. Yes. That's right. Okay. Um, First, I'll ask anyone else have any comments on this? Nope. No, I don't know. It's pretty simple. Yeah. It was, I thought, I thought, first time out, Christian did a very good job. Um, succinct, but there's nothing wrong with that. No, <laughs> yeah. there's not. Um, uh, I did want her to clarify that VTrans has not approved the two accesses. They issued a letter. Which, which application? That's, that's in the very first paragraph under. RGA okay. properties, oh. and she's and she gets it correct later on, but she says here they yeah. have approved and really they, what they have issued they have issued an LOI a letter, right. a letter of intent, which implies they're going to approve it, but um, uh, it's not the same thing. Uh, and it was also conditioned upon closing an access, and that's, I wanted her to add that. Oh. So not only did it prove the two acts, but it was really conditioned on posting the other one. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's, the, that's the important part about that. Um, so I wanted to add that. Um, uh, again, in, in the paragraph A below, she talks about letter, and I just want to clarify letter of intent. Because it has a very specific meaning. Uh, she's probably not aware, but there was a ruling some time ago hmm. um, by the Beach Transportation that um, this is how they would proceed. And, and is it law that we can't proceed without an LOI? Uh, it's it's a statute, correct? It's statute, yeah. yeah. Correct. So we cannot issue a permit unless there's an LOI. Oh. Okay. Um, it would, when, when state and highways are, are back. So not even a well, it's not even condition. Not, you, you can't even do it. We can do a condition, but it, you know it, it has to be there. Uh, and whatever the conditions are in that LOI, govern. So it, it's a mistake okay. for us. I see why. State for us to hear about it without an LOI. I see why. Yeah. Um, the other comment I had for her, and I've already shared these with her. Uh, just, you know, I'm just kind of, I'm running it by you because yep. we don't approve minutes except for a public meeting. Um, and that is the uh, she had she had spoke to the character of the area affected the biological effect, and those are conditions criteria. And this was not conditions hearing, was it? Which one again? Um, RG properties. No, it was not. Okay. Not conditional use. It was site plan review. Site plan review. Yeah. So, so that was those were not necessary, so we should delete those. Uh, and I wanted to clarify the wastewater permit. Uh, she talks about uh, it will what it covers uh because lot one was being reduced. It really isn't because lot one was being reduced, it's because um, they need a replacement field, okay. and they also need a deferment on lot one. And I've jumped through the other application. I apologize. I'm now speaking to the great champion okay. application. Um, and uh, and she had been plowing to the to the end of the property line, and, and I believe he, he was clear that they plowed. They plowed to some point beyond this property line. Yes. With with this turnaround in the bend. Yep. So just location. Just yeah. Um, then I had one last comment having to deal with the. Um, um, she 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 indicated what we decided at the session, and that's inappropriate. Just. 
<laughs> yes, yes. Uh, she just said we keep, and she didn't indicate the times. I don't know if we had, we probably had the times on camera. Um, but she did not indicate the times. I think it's helpful for us to know the time we go into the room session and the time we come out of the room yep. session. So yeah, that makes sense. Prove that in the future. Yep. So those are my comments. They're really not material, they're just clarifications. Yep, yep. They seem reasonable. Um, I guess uh, the very first one, just curious. It seems like it's it's supplemental information as to why someone else makes a decision. I don't know. You know, you were saying it's kind of nice that it's you know it's succinct. Is it necessary to add that kind of information from our perspective? That was just a commentary point. Okay. Yeah, I I used to Carla. But Carla would actually repeat the same item several times. The same you probably okay. noticed. Yeah. She would repeat the same item several times. Same same paragraph. Yeah, okay. You know, yeah. Uh, so it's really a style thing, as much as style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. It, 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 nothing was missing in my mind, so I'm sort of judging the first effort by Christy to see if there were any comments to offer. Uh, yeah. I didn't know the question of the idea of the field. Just yeah. that one comment. <laughs> so, so I would make the motion to approve the minutes be subject to those. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, I'll second on that note. <laughs> the motion been made and seconded with not a lot of enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> varying degrees. Varying degrees. Uh, to approve the minutes of uh, July 21 uh, as amended. I, I will work with her to make sure she gets my comments. Oh, did you make the motion? I made the second. Oh, okay. And so, a discussion of the motion? All those in favor of the motion, please say goodbye by saying aye. 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 Thank you. Um, I would entertain a motion to go to the room session. So moved. Sorry, again. 743 or 743. 743. All so, right. Now we um, can. We're going to go to the room session.